Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm in my new place, pre-settled in. So I'm waiting on a new mattress to be uh, mailed in. It'll be here Monday. I am staying with my buddy Brock. As you can see in the background, there's an array of bicycles, motorcycles, dirt bikes, downhill bikes, road bikes, gravel bikes, fixed gear bikes. This Husky right here has got trash control in a dirt bike. I mean, Brock definitely sends it. It's a real bra opportunity situation uh, around here. What we're walking into is we're gonna do more of a podcast style episode where we're gonna sit with Seth's Bike Hacks and Alex from the Single Tracks sampler and just discuss different topics. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, make sure you share it so more people see it. Thanks for liking and subscribing and we'll see you later in the episode. Hello, Clarice. I've got company for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lotion on its skin. Do you want the bike trader? Do you want it? Obviously you guys know this short guy and you know this tall guy. I'm so not tall, everyone always says how, that. You're, how tall are you? I thought you were I'm tall. I'm like all. five, I'm, six or something. I'm five, six. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Swayze over here. I'm five, ten, perfectly five, ten. average. Oh, you know what, I'm about that too on a good day. I'm moving to Asheville. I'm gonna be in Hendersonville, just probably like 10 minutes from the hub. So that'll be some really exciting stuff, getting some more riding there. And I wanna come up with a, uh, a Bennett Gap challenge where I challenge different people to doing bed gap in different ways. So your life's gonna change when you move up here. I hope, I hope it does. Hopefully, I get skinnier. Highland's like thirteen hour drive from here. Too. I did it in one night. <laughs> you won, You did Highland Drive in one night? Yeah, dude, it was terrible. Don't do it. Why would I like left at noon to drive mm -hmm. up to visit Phil in New England, and I just I was I was gonna stop, and then I was just like I drank too much coffee, and I was like I'm not stopping. The King on John's asking, where's the beers? It looks yeah, like yeah, it's gone, well, dude. and I got some dude. coffee. So, uh, yeah, hey, Nick. Yeah, Nick actually hosted me when I came down to uh, Tampa. It was amazing. It was a great way to kick off the middle of my Florida trip. Have you, hey, did you hit that drop, by the way? That new drop at uh, Al Fire? I didn't hit that drop. <laughs> How, is it, it's that big, huh? Yeah, so I've heard that someone else, my, my buddy Nate told me he didn't hit that drop. The guy who is recovering from his ankle. It and does. He, said, he said it's like super slow. Super Very slow. slow. I don't like and You don't like the slow stuff. Especially, it's like a slow seven or probably like a 10 foot drop and like just barely laying in the sand. And you slap a burn like right after. Right? Yeah, there's nowhere. They need some more behind it. But they are very creative there. I don't want to knock the Alpha trails at all because they're super creative and other people can learn a lot from what they're doing there Dude. to make the best of trails. Totally. So, I was fierce. always really impressed with Alpha. So. I remember there's one trail on Alpha, a roller coaster where you barely have to pedal and you can keep at a really good speed and have a lot of fun. Like That's where you float. rode that cross bike? Yeah. yeah uh, well, no, I took the cross bike to that's a good one. Rabitron. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. That Boy, was not flowy. Stu Hall's in here. Yo, what up, Stu? What's up, Stu's Stu? got that custom, custom work. So. I think the most impressive one I've seen is actually the one you made for Tonka. It's insane. I, think Bra I can't see right. it on the screen now. Brad's asking if any of us hit the D5 at Santos. That's not always open. Like, sometimes uh, at events they'll have it run. <coughs> it's a small landing and a big drop. It's a straight down drop. I've never hit it before, but, I mean, if it's I'm out there anytime soon and it's open. I oh, I would definitely I would. think it's the same yeah. size as the pink bike drop at Highland. It's, it's really big. Not as good as the landing. And, and the pink bike drop, you get up some speed, so there's more of a transition. The D5 at, at Sandoz is gnarly. Yeah. It's Ooh, gnarly. You better make it. <laughs> I hit the Highland one on my not release. So Bailey Mountain Bike Park. I don't know if I have a favorite trip. I like it because it's mom and pop. These guys might not have the same opinion. But everybody has their own style. Every time I go. Uh, you look, you you owe me a trip. Fun. You owe me a trip for uh rolling yeah, roll well, Okay, so what happened that day is you took trip. you took my hurt. Because I get hurt every time I go, but that day I took you and you so you got hurt. I'm so scared. And you know what? You took it for me. But now where I rolled my ankle on that spot. Instead of like swiping left and then going right and then going left under the tree, now I just jump that knuckle and it's not a problem anymore. I just cut the trail and jump it. You skip that? You skip that turn? But they made some cut trails now and some of those switchbacks. It makes it a lot more fun. Dude, your nomad is looking sweet, by the way. Nobody can believe you got a downhill bike for five hundred dollars. So Why let is me that? explain. Here. I was here. So first of all, <laughs> I'll tell you a few things about Kevin. I'll tell you a few things about the bike. So Kevin has a storied history of just finding crazy deals on stuff. He's always and plugged in. He's always talking to people. He's always wheeling and dealing. He always makes stuff happen. So I think that even in the condition it's in, he did get a pretty good deal on that bike. But that bike needs some sorting. Once it's sorted, it's going to be a great bike. So first of all, does not have a single speed chain ring on the front. It's like the chain ring from a three by. So the chain's constantly coming off. That's the first thing. Second of all, somebody ripped the entire drivetrain off of it. Fine. It's a downhill bike, right? So they put a single speed and a chain tensioner 
And the chain tension has got like a little springy thing, but it doesn't have a clutch. So the chains flop around the... So let's just say Kevin's had some chain retention problems. Damper on the fork, I don't know what... It's either stuck closed or stuck open, oh. but uh, it, it just... It just spins. Is I haven't taken it apart. Is that pin it. supposed to just come out if you pull on it? Yeah, it can okay. come out, but you're supposed to be able to turn it. So the pin is actually hexed, so it'll actually mm. turn the damper on the inside. Mm -hmm. So you can actually close the, the damper or you can open it. It's just spinning free. So the fork, it needs is a rebuild. It needs like a rebuild kit, which is not a big deal. I haven't looked over the rest of the bike to know what's wrong with it, but in my personal opinion, I don't think those wheels are going to hold up for very long. I got a push cord. It's got really good pedals. No, but if you get... Yeah. It's got, the pedals are $135. No, the, 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 rims, the rims will hold up or whatever, but what I'm saying, like, it'll stay round as long as you're just going over bumps. If you get a side hit, you're going to you're gonna talk with that. Look, look. Okay, they're, okay. Right so they're the XE wheels. wheels. They're very thin. There's other set of wheels I'm going to trade out to get other set, but if I get to stay underneath like the, 15, the $1,500 mark, okay? If I can stay... Under the fifteen hundred dollar mark for the downhill bike complete, I'll be doing good. I bought the bike for five hundred thirty five dollars and getting the wheels resealed from his friend Pat. Pat at Squash Bikes did a great job. Kush Core is not going to save and The Kush Core is going to do great. <laughs> you I guys think, have no faith. I think you got we are going to do it, Trail Bakers. Don't listen to these guys. I think, I think you, you got an incredible deal. deal on that bike, but you need to put a couple hundred bucks into it. We don't have any cookies today, but I do have beer. I'm drinking okay. a, a pills. So has Alex or Seth hit the Red Bull Ravine yet? No, nah, they have that. not. <laughs> that? That's, that's it. The that new, that's the new, the new end of the. Oh rock. yeah, I'm gonna be hitting that next week. That's, I'm just saying, the only one in the room, the only one in the room has done it. Um, it, it. It's actually, if you just commit from the corner of doing it, it's not bad. You just, just go for it. Hey, just last words. Yeah, just go for it. Just, no, just know you're booking the air. No, but what you're saying is, is what I've heard. Nico, come from the corner, get a pedal stroke in or two if you can. If not, you just fly. Just. The yeah. faster you're going, the smoother you're going to land if you speed jump it. See, what they had there before were those kind of like <laughs> whoops that you had to double. Yeah. And those, well, you so can, they got... They, they almost ended you. Yeah. They almost ended... Well, to be fair, they fell into this repair and I still... Nobody was hitting me and then I, I was like, yeah, these look, you know, I kind of want to hit these. Because I want to hit the step up afterwards. You need to take as much speed as you can in the step up if you exactly. want to clear it cool. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. You need to take... I've cleared that step up before, before... They changed the run yeah. a whole bunch of times. It's, but, you got to tuck yeah. it, you know, and you can carry it. So you haven't done either one. I think it'll, if I'm, you know what, it's an adrenaline rush that you're definitely floating through the air when you do it. Yeah. But when you cross over that, like, 30-foot mark, it's different. It's definitely different. Is that drop? Drop him out on it? What's yeah, up, dude? Yeah, he's up there. What's up, dude? So yeah, so and then in the last video, yeah, I wrecked I wrecked the drone. The drone got smashed up. It was going good, then I broke the signal and it just took a crasher. It took a digger right to the uh, to the ground. You said you broke yours the same way on the camera quit working. Yeah. Um so I think it's looking like two or three hundred dollar fits to get that back going. But I did really like the drone footage. I think it uh, added great dynamic to it. It's probably gonna be less than that for you to fix it because when I got mine fixed, the the drone had just come come out. And it was impossible to get parts for it, and it took them six months to get it back to me. It was really bad. That's ridiculous. They uh, probably have aftermarket parts. And so the guy I got stuff. mine from, he uh, drone sense a guy named Josh that works there. He actually sold me the drone, and he's done a bunch of flying for a whole bunch of different people, which has been pretty cool. For like police departments, fire departments, rescue, border patrol. What's happening at the Reed Ranch on the 11th? Did I miss out on that information? Massive uh, foot down competitions. I'm setting up a tent. Actually, I need. Do you have an easy up? Yeah, I'm gonna truck right now. Sweet. I'm gonna need to borrow that. So, mm -hmm. so uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna to set up that. Kevin's easy up, some chairs and stuff, and I'm gonna have a booth at Oscar Blues. They're having it's called Dale's Trails Day. They're having shuttles, all sorts of stuff. You know about this? How did nobody tell me about this? I just figured you were going to be there. I don't know that lives at the river refresh. So anyway, people can come no. challenge me to put down. It's like minimum of $10. You play you play me and put down for $10. You can play me for $20, $50, $100. <coughs> if you win, then I donate whatever you played me for to, to Sorba. If I win, then you donate it. So the more money you buy in for, let's say you're like, Seth, I want to play you for 500 bucks. So now whoever loses got to donate that money to Sorba. They're, I'm using hands. <laughs> okay, so I'm you saying... Know, Ten so bucks where, will play by the rules, uh, but... So where's yeah. the borderline where it's like free-for-all? Because you don't have to honor it. Free-for-all. Whatever, 
Do you like, like a couple rounds of it? Or is it just a straight smash round for round? Um, I mean, anything over $50 is full contact as far as I'm concerned. Desi Sontag, the Super Chat for Dollar. Thank you. Where are you from? Where's that? Because your name's kind of crazy. Wherever he is, they have good taste in YouTube channels. Yeah, right? Wherever you're at. Uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the podcast style uh, episode this was. I'll have links to their channels if you obviously already know who Seth is and who Alex is, but their links are down below in the description. Thanks again to all my patrons to help support. A lot of people don't realize that all the content creators use Patreon to fund a lot of these trips so you can directly support whoever you're going to. Also, link in the description for that. Find the other creators. Find some people you like and uh, help them on the mission. If you're enjoying the content that they're creating, show us a helping hand. And again, if you liked this podcast style episode, a lot more footage that I can create into more podcasts for you guys to enjoy, which I'm probably going to do if you like it or not, because it was awesome hanging out with Seth and Alex and just chit-chatting about helmets or rides or what they're doing or what's going on. So stay tuned for more of those. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to put this in a playlist. So stay tuned for more episodes of myself, Seth and Alex talking about different topics. Don't forget, pedal a little harder, don't touch the brakes, and we'll see you on the next adventure.